the Illumina Genome Analyzer sequencing technology. The key to the Genome Analyzer's unmatched flexibility, accuracy, and ease of use is Illumina's sequencing technology. Let's look at the chemistry for the three steps in the Genome Analyzer workflow. Library preparation, cluster generation, and sequencing. Library preparation. The Genome Analyzer performs massively parallel sequencing of hundreds of millions of fragments of DNA. First, the DNA is fragmented. Sheared ends are repaired and adenylated. Adapter oligos are ligated to both ends of the fragments. These fragments are then size selected and purified. Cluster generation. On the CBOT cluster system, single molecules are isothermally amplified in a flow cell to prepare them for high throughput sequencing. The eight-channel genome analyzer flow cell has a dense lawn of oligos grafted to its surface. These oligos bind to the adapters ligated to the library fragments. Single DNA molecules hybridize to the lawn of oligos. Bound fragments are extended to create copies. These copies are covalently bound to the flow cell surface. Each library fragment is clonally amplified through a series of extensions and isothermal bridge amplifications resulting in hundreds of millions of unique clusters. The reverse strands are cleaved and washed away. Ends are blocked and a sequencing primer is hybridized to the DNA templates. After cluster generation, the libraries are ready for sequencing. Sequencing. On the genome analyzer, hundreds of millions of clusters are sequenced simultaneously. The DNA templates are sequenced base by base in parallel using four fluorescently labeled reversibly terminated nucleotides. All four bases compete with each other to bind to the template. This natural competition ensures the highest accuracy. After each round of synthesis, the clusters are excited by a laser, emitting a color that identifies the newly added base. The fluorescent label and blocking group are then removed, allowing for the addition of the next base. This proprietary chemistry reads a single base in each cycle, enabling accurate sequencing through difficult regions such as homopolymers and repetitive sequences.